Welcome back to Sushi Day. My name's Allison, and we are back with another version of Snack Attack. Today, we are doing some very random potato chip and snack-ish sort of things. These are just, they don't fall into any category. They're just random snacks that looked tasty and I wanted to try them. So let's get into these. First snack we're sampling today are these ham and cheese flavored clover chips, which I believe are Filipino. I think it, it's got a little bit of Filipino text up here. I don't know what it means, but these are corn and tapioca starch chips. So we're gonna try them. They've got an interesting shape. They, they look like that pasta that you roll with your, with your thumb on the table or a chip. Is that what kind of pasta that is? So let's try these. It smells like a ham and cheese sandwich. Like really smells like a ham and cheese sandwich. Did you hear that crunch? They're really light and crunchy. They're really snackable. I don't really get the cheesiness. The ham flavor does come through and they definitely taste like Fritos or Bugles, some sort of corn snack. They are very tasty though, very easy to eat and I could very easily eat this entire bag. They're good, I like them. Our second type of chips today are these, which you might be a little confused by what's on the bag, but this is neither dog food nor dog flavored. I really don't know why there's a dog, but isn't it adorable? These are actually, you can kind of see in the corner there, these are actually cola flavored potato chips. And I had to get them because cola flavored potato chips. I need to know what these taste like. This freakishly smells like you just cracked open a can of Coca-Cola. It is the weirdest thing ever to associate with potato chips. They look really light though. It is so just ridiculous how much these taste like I'm drinking Coca-Cola. Even the aftertaste is very, like I just drank some soda. These are not salty like normal potato chips would be. So you really just get the flavor of Coca-Cola. It's the weirdest thing ever. I still don't know why there's a dog, a very cute dog on the package because it has nothing to do with anything. But these chips are, if you like interesting flavors, I would highly recommend getting these just because they're so, it's so cool how much they taste like Coca-Cola. And they're actually pretty good chips too. The next one, pizza potato chips. Calbee's original pizza potato chips pack a zesty pizza kick. Saucy drops of melted cheese, herbs and spices are a perfect match for crunchy ridge cut potato chips. I'm expecting pizza. It doesn't smell very pizza. <laughs> All right, let's try this. They are ridge cut and you can see the little bits of cheesiness on them. It's not very pizza. They're good, they're tasty, but they're not very pizza. They make me think of a mixture between regular barbecue potato chips and there's some sort of like cheddar flavored, like cheddar and onion or something, I don't know. That's pretty common. It kind of tastes like a mix between those two. None of which says pizza to me. They're tasty. I'll eat them, but they're not really pizza. This is my disappointed face. The problem is, that all of this is very cheddar looking, which is not really what you see on pizza. Let's see. Yeah, I was right. Cheddar cheese, Swiss cheese, there's no mozzarella. 
So it explains why it tastes off to me. Asian people don't eat cheese. <laughs> I mean, you guys eat fromage. <laughs> Incorrect pizza. <laughs> I am disappointed. <laughs> it's still tasty. A little too cheddar. <laughs> the last snack we have today are these takoyaki balls. And I love takoyaki, so I had to get these. They're not exactly chips. I think they're puffed corn snacks, but I had to try them. It smells just like takoyaki. It smells like the takoyaki sauce that's drizzled over with the kewpie and the bonito flakes and everything. So I have high hopes for these. Let's try them. They're so fluffy. These are very, very light. And they are very, very snackable. They're absolutely the thing where you would just eat the entire bag and then just be like, where did they go? They're all gone. They smell stronger than they taste. They are very, very airy. And you can taste kind of a little bit of the nori, a little bit of the takoyaki sauce, but it's definitely not a strong takoyaki flavor like I was expecting. Uh, the, the little bit of corn snack flavor does come through. Even without the strong flavor I was expecting, they are really good and very snackable. And doesn't this bag just make you want to go to Japan? I miss traveling. I want to go eat some takoyaki. Yay! I think that should be fine. So some of today's snacks were a little not quite what I expected, but all that being said, I'm gonna have no problem eating all of them. Still, these are my favorite. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, if you're not following yet, hit that subscribe button and like this video because it helps us make more Snack Attack. We'll see you next time at Not With These. Hey, come back. You don't know about these. <laughs>